Hey! In this video I want to show you how to get shared secret and identity secret codes if you use some Android phone and Steam application. You can do it without getting any root rights. You can also easily get these codes if you connect your account to the Steam Desktop Authenticator. Just go to MoFiles and open the needed one. But you can obtain shared secret even if you have mobile authenticator on your Android device. Thanks this user for sharing this method in my Discord server. I just make a new Steam account and connect it to the mobile guard in the mobile application. Let's download all what we need in this method. 7-zip, just download and install this archiver, we need this to open a tar extension file. The next thing, download and install the latest version of Java. You can download it from the official website. All links in the description. Then download Android ADB. I already inserted the backup extractor in this archive. Download it from Google Drive. Don't worry I downloaded it from the official website before. It doesn't contain any viruses. Then unpack this folder to any location you want, I paste it to my desktop. Ok, then you have to download an old version of Steam application. Version 214. I will leave this link in the description as well. Send it to your mobile device. Then take your phone. To install the old version you have to remove the current one. Then install just downloaded Steam application. Log into your account. Tap, please help. Use this device. OK send me the text message. Then enter SMS code you received on your phone number. And now you can log in, you have the same Steam app but it's old version. OK, the next step. Go to the settings on your phone. About device or something like that. Version, or software information if you use Samsung. Find build number. Tap on this number 7 times. It will enable the developer options on your phone. Go to settings again. System settings. Developer options. Find USB debugging and enable it. Then you can close the settings. Connect your device to your PC. Select, transfer files. OK, in the downloaded folder open PowerShell or terminal. Hold shift, and right mouse click on this folder, select, open PowerShell window here, or terminal if you use Windows 11. All used commands you can find in the description. Enter here, dot backslash adb, devices. Then unlock your phone, and allow USB debugging for your PC. So if I type this command one more time, you can see my device is authorized. The next command is making backup of the Steam application data. Enter, adb backup, no apk, and name of the Steam application. Unlock your phone again and confirm this action. After that you can see the backup file in the same folder. Then we have to open this file, but we can't, we can transfer this file to the tar file, go to the PowerShell again and enter, java, dash jar, abp, jar, unpack backup.ab, and backup.tar. As I said this commands can be found in the description. Press enter, and now we have new backup file with the tar extension. Open this file using 7z that we installed before. Go to, apps, steam folder, F directory. Then copy this file to any location you want. It names Steam Guard and some number. Open this file using any text editor like Notepad. And as you can see, I have shared secret and identity secret codes on my PC. I can use it for any of my scripts. Then you can update back the Steam application on your device. It won't be a problem for you I think. So let's try to use the shared secret in my bot. I insert my login data and the shared secret to my simple Steam idler. And run this script. As you can see it's working. In this video I showed how to obtain shared secret and identity secret codes from your Android device. I hope this info was useful for you. Thanks for watching.